What is going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the AMD Ryzen 3 APU. This is the 2200G here. I wanna test out some PS3 emulation using RPC S3. Now this emulator is in the very early stages. It has come a long way since it's been released, but I only have a few physical copies of games that were compatible with this emulator. So I went ahead and ripped these three games here, the only ones that were on the compatibility list for at least being in game and we're gonna test them out here. I have overclocked the CPU to 3.9 gigahertz from 3.5. It's really easy to do. I have the voltage on auto. I just set the multiplier to 39. For RAM, I'm using eight gigabytes of DDR4 3000 megahertz RAM, and we're using the internal graphics on this APU. It's the Radeon Vega 8 graphics. It's definitely not the best of the best, but this is a very capable CPU slash GPU combo. For my video back end, I'm using Vulkan. I did have some crashes with OpenGL. We got the Radeon Vega 8 graphics here, and I'm running 720p, 100% scaling. First game we're gonna test is Demon Souls. I'll go ahead and start this up. Just double click. It does take a while to launch a game. It has to load pre-compiled shaders, and I've played through the first tutorial on here so I could get the shaders up and running. When you initially start a game, you will have stutters no matter what. It has to cache these shaders, but after the shader has been saved, it pulls it from memory very quickly. I'm gonna fast forward this until we get into some gameplay. I'm gonna leave it just like this. If you go full screen, it's not gonna affect the performance at all. I want you guys to see that I'm still using this Ryzen 2200G because I'm actually really impressed with the performance here. All right, so here we are inside of some gameplay. At the top of this PS3 window, in the top right hand corner, you will see the FPS listed. I tried Fraps, I tried Afterburner to display it on screen, but since we're using Vulkan, the overlays aren't displaying. Let me scroll down here on the emulator itself so we can see any errors that pop up in the background. Go to the end of this list. And some stuff will still cache, so you will get frame dips here and there. You might get some stuttering. But overall, for being an iGPU, this is running the PS3 emulator very well. So one of my other rigs actually has an i7-4790K clocked at 4.5 GHz, and it's paired with a GTX 1070. Performance isn't much better than this. Now this is a very early emulator, so it's only going to get better as time goes on. I have a few other videos using the same CPU testing GameCube, Wii U, PS2, PSP, and Dreamcast. I'll leave links in the description if you want to check that out. This is an awesome little CPU for emulation. It's 99 bucks. You can build a setup for under $350. I actually just noticed that my sound isn't working here. Now, sometimes it works in games and sometimes it doesn't, but I believe this time it's due to my game capture. Let me fix something real quick and we'll be right back. All right, the sound's working now. I'm using an Elgato HD60S connected to another PC, so we're not pulling any power from this CPU to record the screen. It's all done on another machine. And for some reason, it just wasn't picking up the sound. I had to restart the game capture software. So yeah, you could definitely get better performance out of this emulator with a higher end machine, but you're gonna spend a lot of money to make it work. Now, I haven't done a video on this because I have a PS3 with a ton of games, and Emulating the PS3 isn't something that I'm super interested in, but seeing that the emulator has come this far, I might be doing some more tutorials and videos on this. This game should run at a constant 30 FPS if the emulator gets optimized enough and you have enough power. I believe down the road that we'll be able to run these games at full speed within, let's say, a year on these Ryzen APUs. Overall, I'm really impressed that this $99 APU can handle this PS3 emulator the way it is right now. It's not perfect, but there's a lot of room to improve the emulator itself, and I believe that these Ryzen APUs will be able to run this at full speed eventually.
We're going to move over to another game. A harder game to run, Tekken 6. Now this was the worst performer out of all three games that I tested. I'm going to fast forward a bit till we get into some gameplay. All right, so here we are with Tekken 6 for PS3. This game should be running at a constant 60 FPS. I average around 55 on my other machine, much more higher end than this APU. But it's going to be unplayable here. Lots of stuttering, low FPS. It's not enjoyable, but it is working. That's the main thing I wanted to show you guys. It is working. This game is playing. And the final game that I had that was compatible with this emulator was God of War Collection. This has two God of War games, both of them were released on the PSP. I did a video on PSP emulation using the same APU, not even overclocked, and both of these games run perfectly using the PPSSPP emulator. You can even upscale to 1080p, you'll get 60fps and it looks just as good. But I figured I'd show you using this PS3 emulator. Now the sound's working here, but when I get into gameplay the sound does not work. I've tried a few different settings, I cannot get it to work in game. We're going to fast forward. I will go full screen with this game in just a second. We're running at 60 FPS. It runs flawlessly except for the sound. Going full screen with it now. It will not affect performance with any of these games. You're still at the same resolution. If anybody watching this knows how to fix the sound with this game here, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to play it on this emulator here. I'd like to play it all the way through. These are some of my favorite games. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. The Ryzen 2200G is an awesome APU for emulation. Like I mentioned, I got some videos on PSP, Dolphin, Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and even Wii U. I'm really itching to test the 2400G with this emulator, and I will as soon as I do one more video. I'll have a video coming up possibly Monday morning, 3DS emulation on the 2200G. Then I'm going to swap it out and test out the 2400. If you guys want to build a machine like this, I will leave links in the description to Amazon. I also did a build video you can check out. It's super easy to put something like this together and it's relatively cheap considering how much dedicated GPUs are right now. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of great stuff on the way. And like always, thanks for watching.